To be honest, uh, pie. More specifically, the the heat and the air quality has uh, has broken us really. Yeah. The air quality is absolutely rat. It is so bad. Yeah, I'm struggling. Like, I had childhood asthma, and it's come back in full force the last couple of hours. Like being here. Good morning. Morning. <laughs> we are in Chiang Mai, headed to Pai. So excited. <laughs> Today. Yeah, never been to Pai before, so yeah, keen. Yeah, neither. Um, seen seen some good things about it. Very small town, but um, the vibe, the mood, mm. is quite um, quite hippieish. I think. Yeah. Um, liking it to Nimbin. Perhaps we'll have to see when we get there, Nimbin yeah. in Australia. But um, yeah, by the sounds of it, it should be not too dissimilar. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, we organised a bus through our hotel that we're staying at, um, so it's coming to get us about 10:30. About. about 10, 10 minutes, probably on tire time. <laughs> see how we go. Yeah. Yeah, minivan. Um, yeah. Apparently the first stretch isn't too bad, but when you get closer to Pi, it can get really, really bendy, twisty, and. Uh, I guess it depends on the driver how they take it. They're going to take it pretty far, so there may be some vomiting coming up. So that could be that be, could be some good content. Yeah, I got a couple of vomit bags in my backpack, so no stress. Yeah, we ate a few hours ago as well, so mm. uh, no new food in the in the stomach to help combat that. Yeah. Um, I never get car sick though, so I'm pretty lucky. Yeah, neither do I. But we'll see how Touch we go wood. on this trick. <laughs> on this trick. On this trip. But uh, yeah, we're just hanging out. Um, as you can see, I got this shirt for 130 baht from the Central Airport Plaza shopping center, which is quite close to us here in Chiang Mai. And I thought it would be perfect for <laughs> Pai. And Definitely. I've been wanting to get a, um, a tie-dye shirt for a few minutes. So yeah, here we are. And there's a van coming now. Ooh, Could be us. Ooh, Probably is. I think it is. All right, All right. we better go. Cool. Bye bye. See you Tuesday. Yes. See you next Tuesday. <laughs> All right, Thanks. on the bus. Um, Toyota commuter van. Mm -hmm. Put that in there. Thanks. Uh, just, yeah. There's two other people in here, so we'll see how we go. Um, pretty big bus, not a huge amount of legroom, but it'll do. Yeah. As my knees were right up against the um, <laughs> seat in front, but we chose the back seat, because why not? Hopefully we won't disturb everyone up here. And yeah, we'll see how we go. The bus driver looks yeah. good. Like an outstanding yeah. um, individual. But yeah, we'll see how we go. So we've been on the bus for an hour and we haven't even left Chiang Mai yet. Full house. Yeah. You were squashed against the luggage. Mm. <laughs> Let's go. Let's get the pie. Yeah. bus station. <laughs> um, that trip was hectic in yeah. terms of the twists and turns. Um, you'll see it on the screen but it doesn't do it justice to just mm. how actually like curvy and hairpin the corners were. Um, we've just booked the tickets for the bus back and then we're just getting a shuttle. I've just called up our hotel and they're sending a shuttle so it'll be here in five minutes. And uh, 
then we'll be into our room, have yeah. a look and see what that looks like. Yeah, happy days. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Top tip for you, don't sit in the back of a minivan because uh, that's where they put all the luggage yeah. and it'll squish up. Yeah, I thought I was being uh, pretty tactical there, but um, yeah, I, it was a massive mm. fail, so yeah, uh, you live and you learn. Yeah, and Econ was a bit um, on and off the whole trip as well, so being right in the back with the bags and stuff, no Econ was, um, yeah. Yeah, it did get a bit hot. Yeah. I'm a little bit sweaty. Okay, here we are. So, um, GoPro has been an absolute piece of, you know what, um, don't know if it's the temperature or whatever, we're going to try a firmware update to fix it, but if not then we'll, um, I'll bang it against a rock and then we'll buy a DJI Action 4. But anyway, we just got into our room, um, we got a free shuttle, it was the Song Tower, and actually there was two other people staying at the same place and they jumped on as well, two Brits, so had a nice chat with them on the way in, it was only five minutes. Uh, up a pretty steep hill though. That was a bit of a shock. We're just sitting in the song down. It's like pretty much vertical. So yeah, good times. Um, but yeah, this is the room. There's Sarah. Oh, so you got this is pretty much it. It's pretty basic, but it's like a little bungalow. So um, it's really cool. You got your little chairs, bar fridge, little tiny TV, AC, cupboards for your stuff. And you got a bathroom, I think, over here. We also have a bed. Oh yeah, that's important. It is. And then a little bathroom. A bathroom. Yeah. Bum gun, you just test out the into the water. Just make sure we got a good one. Yeah, yeah that'll do. That's a good one. That'll clean your bath. That's a good shout. <laughs> okay, and yeah, front door. And there's also a an upstairs part, which we'll show you right now. So this was the main selling point actually, mm. location and um, also the rooftop. pool. Yeah. And yeah, yeah, the rooftop is the main selling point. So it looks pretty sick. Um, obviously no shade, so it'll be a afternoon Nighttime affair, but mm. yeah, it's pretty good. Okay, good morning, guys. Morning. This is our first day in Pi. We've hit the gym this morning, it's pretty good. Um, it was, yeah, just down the road from us. It was 90 baht each, um, had all the shit we needed, so that was good. And now we're heading out into Pi. During the day, it's about 11 o'clock. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be hot. It's gonna get hot, but that's okay. As you can see though, the smog is. It's crazy. It's crazy, yeah. It, um, I mean, we're just looking at it as uh, mist, you know, cause we're in the mountains and that makes sense. But um, in reality, <laughs> it's smog. And it is making breathing a little bit hard. Yeah. But, um, Ah, that's okay. We're young, fit individuals. <laughs> we can uh, handle it for a couple of days up here. Yeah, that's it. We're only here for a couple of days, so um, yeah, hopefully not too much damage is done. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, we'll never really know, but yeah, yeah, we'll um, we'll just send it. But yeah, we'll head into Pi, have a look at it, um, show you guys what it looks like. We're gonna hit a pharmacy real quick. I'm gonna grab a face mask and some antihistamines and hopefully that fixes me. Fingers crossed. Uh. Sweet, so Sarah's gone in as you saw to get the uh, mask and the antihistamines. It's affecting me a little bit as well. The air feels really thick and you can really see it in the, in the mountains because it's actually got a long uh, distance to look and you can, you can really see it come up. Um, yeah, obviously this time of year is burning season and we knew that. Um, and we're just trying our best to get through it. I'm surprised at how many people are actually here, all the backpackers, it's pretty crazy. Um, yeah, Pai, so far, it's a, it's a really cool place, really unique. Uh, if you can handle that three plus hour drive 
that windy road up here. Um, I definitely think it'd be a great shout. Probably, I don't know, in the rainy season, I reckon this place would look absolutely gorgeous. Uh, be even greener, be nice and clear, and um, temperatures, although hot, um, there's pools everywhere in Pi, so you can cool off quite easily. Both of the places we'll be staying here actually both have um, both have pools, so it seems like pools are a pretty big thing in Pi. But um, yeah, so far so good. How'd you go? Yeah, Beautiful. Mask and antihistamine. 200 bucks. That's it. And as yeah. you can see, Sarah's a bit, a bit worse for wear at the moment. Struggle Street. Mm, it is a bit. Yeah. As I said, we uh, we knew the risks coming in, but uh, yeah, I think it's for a few days you're okay, but coming from Chiang Mai up here where the air pollution is pretty similar, I think just after, you know, four or five days it really starts to hit you hard. Yeah. Accumulates. Just, yeah. Just sweating, like my whole body is wet and I'm just like puffy, can't breathe properly, so see if these antihistamines fix me. If not, um I'm going to bed. <laughs> yeah, we'll jump in the pool, keep your head underwater. Yeah. <laughs> see how long you can do that for. So we've stopped in at a local restaurant and the best sign of that is it is completely populated by Thais, so yeah. it must be good. Yeah. Um, yeah, prices are good, like 60 baht for a um, full meal. Yep. So yeah, on the cheap side, it's raised as well. So if we could see the mountains, we would have an absolutely beautiful <laughs> view, I'm sure. Yeah, last night we were walking around, I was actually a little bit worried um, that I wouldn't really like it here because we kind of walked down the main strip and um, it is just completely populated by tourists, burger shops, taco shops, yeah, um, that's true. about it. Like, there's no Thai people in sight. Mm. Um, so, coming here and seeing this restaurant, I was absolutely stoked because I was like, there's actual Thai people sitting here. It must be good Thai food. Yeah, um, yeah it is. It's a struggle to find Thai food here. Like, yeah, there was we... there was one um, one Thai food place which we had for lunch. Mm -hmm. It was fully packed. It was packed when we walked past it yeah. uh, last night. Um, and that, that was good, it was good price as well, it's 50 baht for a main meal, which is yeah. dope. Um, but yeah, we're just walking down that street, it's, it's, I've seen that kind of street before in a different, um, in a different country, like yeah. I've seen that exact same street in Brazil, um, and you know, you can pretty much go anywhere in the world and see that kind of street, it's just as if like there's just been a bunch of money just pumped into it straight away, mm. developed, the whole other area is, you know, kind of ramshackle like not in a bad way but it's not anywhere near as developed and yeah. then you've just got these bright lights and these brand new looking restaurants that should, should be by the seaside or something you know yeah yeah it honestly yeah. just felt like being in byron bay or something mm -hmm. um back in australia like I, I i'm kind of struggling to see what's so special about it but i can also see that there's like there's a lot of younger tourists here so maybe that's what the appeal is like they're all kind of here to just party and enjoy themselves um which i think if i was 10 years younger i probably would really enjoy it here but um, yeah yeah no nah, yeah. i think there's a lot more to offer we're gonna yeah. you know explore a bit more but yeah that's just the night time that's just one mm -hmm. one street you know pie is not particularly big but there's yeah. plenty of other streets you can go down yep um, and you know, Thais need to eat dinner as well, and there weren't any there, so they must have been somewhere else. They're, they're yeah. still, yeah. still good restaurants and whatnot here. Yeah. So, yeah, we'll sit here, have some food. Sarah's having La Gai, yep. and I'm having Moo something <laughs> uh, with some sticky rice. So it was a change of plans, I got grilled chicken instead of some kind of pork. I think it was sun-dried pork, yeah. which I thought looked pretty cool, but um, they out, so I'm in to some grilled chicken. 
<laughs> you gotta do it the Isan way. Mm. Mm. The sauce on that lab's really good. Okay, so lunch is done and I've just started coughing pretty badly. Um, so yeah, we'll head back down. Um, it's down where the walking or the night market is. They hold it at night. Obviously, it's a night market. <laughs> Pretty silly thing to say, but yeah, it's uh, the street that we actually came in on where the bus station is. So we'll walk down there during the day. Um, yeah, there's quite a few shops down there we saw. Um, you'll, never, you'll never believe it, but uh, there are plenty of weed shops in Pipe. <laughs> So many. Um, so we were saying that if you want to run a business in Pi, you've got three options. You've got a phone store, a scooter rental, or a weed shop. Sarah's wearing a mask. <laughs> nah, they're good, they're good. The main roads are a bit, um, the cars can park on on the side, so it looks like there's odd days one side, even days the other, and um, yeah, you can park on the road there, so it does make it a bit congested and not the best for walking, but um, these little side streets are nice and quiet and um, got some nice greenery and some pretty cool looking um, boutique shops as well, cafes, so yeah. I don't know if that'll show up on screen, but that sign there is saying 42 degrees Celsius. No wonder I'm sweating. Yeah, no wonder this phone is on fire. Yeah, everything's on fire. That's it. So we best <laughs> get back and into the pool. As you can see, not only is there the heat, the smog, but these, those white things you're seeing are the seeds of big pods that seem to be falling and um, spreading at this time of year. I'm not sure if it's just this time of year, but regardless, that um, is definitely not helping with the uh, air quality, all of that uh, seed, pollen, whatever, in the air. So. Yeah, it's, it's a bit of a tough one out here, isn't it? <laughs> it is. uh, I mean, I think like it's good to show it on YouTube so you don't come here at this time of year, but at the same time, it's like, just struggling, honestly. Yeah, yeah. It's hard to breathe. I like wiped my nose in the restaurant just before and there was a bunch of um, like black stuff on the tissue, so try and breathe that in, like, it's not good for you. No, it's, it's not. Um, yeah, it's, it's really rough out here, but um, you know, as we said, we knew the we knew that coming in. We knew it was burning season. Yeah. We knew um, that the heat was going to be like it is. It's just um, yeah, we yeah. Just, as we said, we're up in the north. We wanted to come check it out, but um, yeah, if even if we don't get to experience it fully, then I guess we could share with you guys the struggles that you'll face if you come to the north of Thailand, especially around Chiang Mai and um, this Pai region um, during burning season because uh, it doesn't look like there's been anything anything done with it uh, in terms of reducing it. When you look on IQ Air, it's all, um, it's all purple, like in the very unhealthy range. So um, yeah, not great. Yeah, yeah, you've got like orange, oh, you got like yellow, orange, red, and you think mm -hmm. red would be like the top but they had to make another color purple for it <laughs> <laughs> and um yeah yeah it's it, it's crazy it's crazy but yeah we knew the risks but hopefully 
yeah. showing you guys, taking you with us uh, in this area this time of year. You can make up your own mind if it's something worth visiting at this time, but I would definitely say that it's worth visiting, but saving it for the um, for the better times of year. Yeah. The high season and uh, even rainy season could be a good shout here. Yeah, I reckon. Yeah, I reckon it'd be beautiful, especially being out in the out in the mountains and whatnot. But yeah. 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 Definitely our own fault on this one. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. You live yeah. and you learn. All right. Howdy, guys. It is about ooh five thirty in the afternoon. Yeah. Quarter to six. Quarter to six. Mm -hmm. My mistake. Um, we're about to head out to film um, Pie Walking Street, the night market. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think it's Walking Street. I just made that up. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but yeah, we it's... like to do. Well, we like to do a nighttime video everywhere we go, just to show like the nightlife where we're at. But um, yeah. To be honest, uh, Pie and. More specifically, the the heat and the air quality has uh, has broken us really. Yeah, it's it's ridiculous up here. To be honest, um, it's what it was. It was forty two degrees. It's yeah. It said on that sign. I looked on the weather app and it was saying thirty eight, but you know it mm. could have been anywhere near there. Um, and then I'll put it up on screen, but the uh, the air quality is absolutely rat shit. It is so bad. Mm. It is, um, as I was saying previously in the video, it, you've got the yellow, red, and then red wasn't enough, so they've taken it up to purple, and I think there's a brown. Luckily, we're not in the brown, but <laughs> yeah. I have seen it on the map, especially in Chiang Mai. Yeah. Well, maybe it's a crimson red, I don't know. Regardless, it's really bad. The PM, or just the air quality in general, was mm. at uh, 276 today in Pi when I looked at it. So that was, I don't know, more than 20 times the uh, healthy recommended amount. Yeah, I'm struggling. Like, yeah. I had childhood asthma and it's come back in full force the last couple of hours, <laughs> like being here. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, we knew the risks. We knew what we'd, we were getting into. Yeah, we'd been warned multiple times by multiple subscribers saying, don't go north at this time of year. Mm. Mm. It wears you down so hard. Mm. Coupled with the heat, the air pollution, and also, as you would have seen previously, um, those seeds, uh, that is just those white seeds from the, the pods of the trees yeah. are just everywhere. We, One, walk, we walked up and I thought they'd been like a chicken beating contest or something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, who could beat the most chickens because it was just spread out everywhere. Mm -hmm. Originally thought it was like dandelions. Yeah. And then we saw a pod and it was just open and you could just see the fluff. Um, <laughs> half the fluff was still in there and it was a, yeah. a ton. So. Yeah, there's, there's a bunch of things at this time of year that make it um, very hard to just exist, mm. exist here. Yeah, um, I got a seed in my eye before oh, we were having coffee. I was like, oh. yeah, yeah, it's, it is, they're experiencing what it seems like a, a mild heat wave. So it's putting the, the temperature up four to five degrees, mm. um, which makes a big difference, you know, from 34 degrees to 38 as you probably would know, can really make a huge difference. Coupled yep. with all the other things going on, it's just really hard. Mm. Um, so, apologies. Um, won't be able to go out tonight and do that. We just we just can't do it. Yeah. Um, it's just worn us down. I think from being in Chiang Mai as well, we were there for a week and we've come here. So we've had a week of just breathing in this absolute toxic air <laughs> shit air yeah it's, it's so bad like i'm i'm pretty like sarah's more sensitive than myself mm. and she's had to use the the puffer she's got a mask she's u using neurofin for headaches mm -hmm. i'm struggling as well i'm getting headaches from it and yeah it's kind of like you know a bit of a fail in coming here and showcasing it we will probably come back and check yeah. it out in the in the proper in the proper times the yeah. best times the better times than now but um yeah it's good to be able to come here and highlight uh just how bad mm. the the burning season is and how badly it affects your your time your ability to just 
exist and to have the best time possible yeah. in these kind of places. Chiang Mai and Pai, it yeah. really wears you down and it yeah. makes you, like usually you've, you'll have the heat outside and you'll think, oh, do I really need to go out? And then on top of that, you've got this terrible air quality and that's just another reason not to go outside. Yeah, the air just feels completely thick. Like it, um, like I can feel the air when I'm breathing in. Like I'm like, like it just feels thick to go in and then like thick to come out. The heat, like everything, just combined together is just, just really not good. And it's it's our fault because we decided to come here during burning season. Like we were just like, oh, it can't be that bad. Like let's <laughs> let's check it out anyway. Yeah. Um, but. As we've said just before, there's there's not really a lot of information on it. Like we had no idea about burning season. We didn't know that it, it existed until we lived in Thailand. Mm. So it's good for us to be here and like for us to be able to show that like the times not to come here in Thailand. Like yeah. it's good for us to be able to be like, hey, we have a platform and a channel and like we can show you that you know, April probably isn't the best time to come to Chiang Mai or Pai or north of Thailand. Yeah, 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 and that was that was kind of our thinking as well. Mm. We knew what we were getting into, but we thought, hey, it couldn't, it might not be that bad. Yeah. But if it is, then we'll have the opportunity to share it with you guys and to, you know, like we're we're pretty positive. We're pretty positive, but we're also we're like early thirties, fit mm. individuals, and we're struggling. So yeah. If you're younger than that, you might be fine. But if you're older than us, you're probably going to struggle pretty hard. Yeah. Um, especially if you're, you have allergies or anything like that, any breathing issues, it's going to be a nightmare up here. And yep. you'll probably just turn around as soon as you see the, um, <laughs> yeah. what you would think <laughs> is mist or um, fog. Yeah. It's smog. It's just... And it's up in you. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. That's um, that's our conclusion. Uh, we would have loved to have showed you a bit more of Pi, but also we've had the GoPro issues and we've oh, had Oh yeah, to... that too. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, so that's that's our main camera. We're using our phone at the moment. It's it's working well. We've just got a cheap um, selfie stick and yeah, it's working pretty well. We'll grab ourselves a new camera, but I guess that's kind of um, put us in a bit of a downer because we need yeah. to now buy a whole new camera. For this, so yeah, that's... and they're not cheap either, so yeah, it's just another thing to add to the list once we get to Bangkok. Um, Pi in general, what's your um, what's your general thoughts about it? We we did go out last night just for a walk. Um, we're probably going to go for a walk tonight just to get some dinner and stuff. Um, and there's a couple of things we've noticed, so. Yeah, it might go for a walk, might even order in. Of the, <laughs> probably, yeah, we're probably going to order in, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, that's mm. pretty much why we're wrapping it up here. But honest thoughts, um, I've been seeing through the smog and seeing through the heat, and I think it'd be a lovely place. Um, I think it's probably, the ship has probably sailed here, to be honest. Uh, there's a whole bunch of backpackers, even at this time of year, mm. which maybe they don't have the information, or maybe they're just sending it like we are. But, um, yeah, it's, I don't, you don't, from what we've seen, we're not getting an authentic Thai experience. Mm. Um, it's, it's really been gentrified in very specific areas. As we said before, I've seen that street in many a country. Mm. Um, and yeah, the good thing is the people that we've seen, they do seem nice and respectful as well. They seem to be coming taking the time to come all the way out here they've kind of got an idea of how not to be a dickhead mm. and it, it's really nice to see the yeah. people who have interacted with the locals and um, also the travelers have been excellent um, nice to talk to some English speaking people after yeah. being in Udantani and also Chiang Mai uh, yeah a little gonna, bit because you can avoid tourists quite easily there mm. but um, yeah for me it's, it's a bit overcrowded and that's this time of year imagine what it'd be like in high season yeah yeah for sure and with like the amount of tourists that are here as well it's um i think it's a little bit too hyped up like i think like it's difficult to find thai food 
Um, mm. Like we were lucky today that we did find some Thai food, but all the food that we have kind of seen around here is just like burgers, pizzas, like it's not authentically Thai. Um, there's a lot of... Pizza's not a bad thing though. No, it's, it's not, but it, <laughs> burgers. it's... Like if you're looking for the authentic Thai experience, like pie is not it. Um, you are going to see beautiful scenery, like don't get us wrong, there is oh, yeah. some beautiful scenery out here, like absolutely love that, we can sort of see past the smog, it's it's gorgeous, like there's no doubt about it, mm. but go for a walk at night time, you are just going to come across a bunch of tourists, they're all really young too, like I was saying to Frank before, 10 years ago, I probably would have absolutely loved it in Pai, mm. but now that I'm in my 30s, it, it like it's not it doesn't really have the appeal to me anymore like there's a bunch of 20 something backpackers i can see why it is a destination but at the same time it's probably not a destination if you're an older tourist yeah 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 um i feel the same if mm. i was if i was younger but um my needs my wants have changed and mm. um I want less people. <laughs> yeah. Less tourists. <laughs> yeah, mm. yeah. Um, going to a city, you expect that, but coming to a place like Pai and mm. it just being ram, rammed full yeah. of just... Um, we got off the bus and it was just like... Big backpacks, just... Just backpackers, Farang, farang, farang yeah. everywhere. And, you know, and we're farang. Yeah. But... Um, yeah, we'd prefer to go to a place more like Udintani, mm. uh, more like Siem Reap. Yeah. It's going to be, you're going to have that nature aspect. It's a little bit of a little bit of a city, a lot bit of a city, a mm. bit of a Mwang, <laughs> uh, a little city, but mm. yeah, more of those places where you're going to see less Farang and you're going to see more Thai people. Mm. They're going to be more curious about you. They're going to be really friendly. And the, play, the, the sorry, the people here uh, have been really, uh, been really friendly. Yeah, been friendly. we've met some really, really friendly Thai people. Mm. Um, they're just few and far between, to be honest. Like, pretty much everybody that we've interacted with on the street has been Western. Yeah, that's that's about it. Hi. Uh, we do have another full day here. We'll be staying in another resort or. Mm. Might show you that on Instagram or something like that, maybe in a short, mm -hmm. um, if it's that special. But um, yeah, yeah, I think we've come at the worst time in the year. Yeah. And uh, we now know that for sure. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I think if we came at another time of year, it might be better. Of course, mm -hmm. the heat and the air quality will be better, but it might be more mm -hmm. populated by uh, tourists, which isn't isn't a good idea for us it's yeah not, it's not our jam um so yeah we've had a good time so yeah. far um yeah it's absolutely beautiful scenery is lovely but yeah um, it is yeah we'll we'll have to if we have time come back here yeah and check it out. eventually to be very blunt pie is somewhere that i can see turning into another chengu in the future like yeah. it's nice now it does have a lot of tourists it's it's beautiful like there is a lot of beautiful nature and scenery here mm. but if we come back in 10 years and it's like a carbon copy of Chengu I'm not going to be surprised yeah yeah we hated Chengu too yeah. just um just yeah, so you know <laughs> Chengu is a whole mm. in our opinion yeah and I'll um, stand by that till the day I die hopefully you found some information in here interesting and helpful mm -hmm. as well because that's what it's about you know helping you decide where you want to go and mm. what times of year. Um, but yeah. Yep. If you like the video, like it. Mm. If you like us, subscribe. Yeah. And we will see you in the next video, which will be us GTFOing out of here to Back Chiang Mai to, to Bangkok mm -hmm. for Songkran. Yeah. So it should be pretty hot. Super exciting. Yeah, it's going to be sure. pretty, um, pretty serious business. <laughs> Yeah, we've got some yeah. serious plans in the works there. Yeah, we do. Um, not done by us at all, but... No, just... Um, <laughs> <laughs> we're just piggybacking on other people's plans, so it should be fun. Side note, sorry for being so negative. It's just we want to give accurate information based on our own experience. And that's all it is. It's based on our experience. Like, you might come here and have a great time, so... Yeah, you'll see what we're talking about. Yeah. Um, you know, if you... 
if you're watching us, you, you probably respect our opinion. Mm -hmm. But uh, who knows? Maybe it's the smog creeping into our brains <laughs> yeah. and making us all making us crazy. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't be surprised. But on that note, thanks for watching. Bye bye. Bye.